Hey, everybody. Let's look at the special considerations when you have a participant using a correspondent, or if you have a participant that is mapped to multiple connection parties. And a quick note on participants that have multiple profiles. These are the more unusual situations. First, the participant using a correspondent. Okay, that's actually quite normal. For participants who rely on a correspondent, which is basically another financial institution to assist in the settlement services or managing of a master account, the correspondent may allow them to use liquidity management transfers or LMTs, and most likely you will. These liquidity management transfers can either be in the form of, first of all, an LMT send and receive or just LMT receive only. If a correspondent allows LMTs, the respondent, that participant, can request the specific LMT type by contacting FRB Services Support Center. Next, what if we have a participant with one participant profile mapped to multiple connection parties? One profile mapped to multiple connection profiles. What happens then? Participants can have multiple connection parties linked to one participant profile. Remember, the connection parties are the entities or organizations responsible for messaging and connections. That's the connection party, right? Think service provider, and it's quite possible that a participant will want to use multiple providers for different use cases using the FedNow service. However, there are certain rules you're gonna have to consider. There can be only one receive. Only one gets to receive no matter what. You get a multiple sins, but only one being re the receive. See, only one connection party is allowed for receiving credit transfers, payment returns, and non-value message receiving. However, when the receiving financial institution has multiple connection parties, the FedNow service may send certain non-value messages to a different connection party than the one authorized for receiving credit transfers, payment returns, and non-value messages. That's the FedNow service in certain situations. You talk that over with your onboarding team. Here are some of the rules to be aware of. Only one connection party is permitted for receiving LMT messages. Only two connection parties are allowed for receiving correspondent debit credit notifications. And if a connection party has permission to receive end-of-day reports, it will receive reports containing all activity for the participant, regardless of which connection party process the message. A connection party with permission to access the FedNow interface can view some message details for all participant activity no matter which connection party process the messages. Just something to be aware of. Like, for example, if financial institution ABC has a participant profile with a participation type of customer credit transfer, you might see abbreviated as CCT, send and receive, and liquidity management transfers, LMTs, send and receive, send and receive, all are basically types right there, and is linked to two connection parties both connection parties can send customer credit transfers and LMT messages. However, you're paying attention, you realize that only one can have the permission to receive customer incoming credit transfer messages, including non-value messages. And one, either the same or a different one, can only receive the LMT incoming messages. Only one on the receive side, very important. Finally, is a participant with multiple participant profiles. This one's pretty unusual, okay? That'll happen though. This one's pretty easy too. A financial institution may have several participant profiles if it has several routing numbers. You have multiple routing numbers, you'll have multiple profiles set up within the FedNow service. A financial institution with several participant profiles can connect them to one or more connection parties. You can connect each routing number to a different party if you want, or each routing number to one party, up to you. So it is possible for one participant to use multiple routing numbers and to have routing numbers connected to different connection parties or different service providers for the purpose of handling different messages through different routing numbers and different FedNow connections, if you want. Most people, it's just going to be one. Seriously, just one. So there you have it. Those are the special considerations for multiple profiles, participants using a correspondent and participants with multiple connection parties linked to one profile. One thing we can link this class to now is being over. For now, class dismissed.